If you've ever been in a class that required you to write a research paper within the last 15 years, it's practically guaranteed at some point that your teacher said, don't use Wikipedia, none of the information on there is credible. But if that's true, why isn't Wikipedia the troll-ridden informational wasteland that they paint it as? If anything, Wikipedia looks like the most information-rich site on the web, with millions of articles on nearly any topic. Clearly, this is some kind of conspiracy created by the encyclopedia companies to get us to buy a new paperweight set every year. Or maybe there's more to the argument than appears. Wikipedia holds the Alexa ranking as the fifth most visited website worldwide. There is a catch, though. To get the site to grow as fast as it does, Jimmy Wales decided to crowdsource the contents of his shiny new website when he launched it. Basically, anyone can edit Wikipedia as they see fit, and while this leads to plenty of experts filling the website with useful information, it also opened the door to, well... Hmm, space shuttle is a spacecraft, huh? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's a banana. The general rule is, if it's on the internet, somebody has to ruin it for everyone, and early on in the website's life, this appeared to be Wikipedia's fate, death by misinformation. Wikipedia did have some measures to prevent vandalism, such as a team of editors who could manually revert any malicious changes. This worked well temporarily, but if you ever visit Wikipedia's recent changes page, you can see how many edits go through per minute. It was clear even at the time that the editors wouldn't be able to keep up with all these changes for long. In 2003, an answer appeared. Bots. Most vandalism is pretty simple, like completely wiping an entire entry and a program called Anti-Vandalbot could recognize it. This didn't entirely solve the issue of vandalism, but it was able to identify and revert the more common and simple types of vandalism, saving time for the human editors to work on less clear cases. As time went on, the bots used on Wikipedia evolved to become smarter and better at detecting vandalism without flagging legitimate edits. One major change was the introduction of Cluebot in 2007. Cluebot, which used a more advanced scoring algorithm, taking into account things like profanity and grammatical errors, was much better than existing bots at identifying bad edits without throwing out the good ones. By 2010, a new version of Cluebot, Cluebot NG, for next generation, was released. This version, rather than using a scoring algorithm, used machine learning from a set of 60,000 edits to teach itself what vandalism looks like, leading to an improved detection rate. When running 24-7, Cluebot NG reverts thousands of edits per day and identifies vandalism twice as fast as humans. The bots on Wikipedia don't catch everything that goes past them, but they are integral in keeping the website from being carelessly destroyed by trolls or people with misinformation. As a whole though, the website's information is actually pretty decently reliable. In 2005, Nature ran a study where experts were presented with scientific articles from the Encyclopedia Britannica in Wikipedia without knowing which encyclopedia their articles were from. Their findings? A tie. Each encyclopedia had four major errors, indicating Wikipedia was essentially as accurate as printed encyclopedias. Interestingly though, pop culture on Wikipedia is less credible than factual fields like science and history, as shown by a study performed by Life Science most likely because pop culture contains more opinions and interpretations than facts and events. So if Wikipedia has methods of protecting itself from vandalism, and the information on it is mostly reliable, is it a good source for performing research? The answer is still somewhat hazy, and the real issue lies in what Wikipedia is used for. The goal of Wikipedia, and pretty much any encyclopedia for that matter, is to give general knowledge on a wide variety of subjects. Wikipedia might have 5 million articles, but that doesn't mean that any of them go in-depth enough for true research. Most just have enough information to learn the basic idea of whatever you looked up. Wales himself believes that Wikipedia shouldn't be cited as a reliable source. As he put it, people shouldn't be citing encyclopedias in the first place. Wikipedia and other encyclopedias should give good, solid background information to inform your studies for a deeper level. Wikipedia is still an incredible tool for research, even if the content on the site itself isn't. Even though it's a massive collection of information, accompanying that information is a massive collection of citations. Rather than acting as a source, you can use Wikipedia in your research to point to other useful and more in-depth sources. In that sense, our teachers were right that Wikipedia isn't a great source, but their rationale doesn't hold up. Despite what people think, Wikipedia is actually reasonably accurate. Accurate enough to look up facts here and there, or to learn something new. The real issue with Wikipedia in research is the depth of information. So, in the end, no. Wikipedia still isn't a good source to copy from at 2am while finishing a paper, but it still stands as a great resource to find other places to plagiarize from online. <laughs>